What is up guys, my name is Pewell and welcome back to more of my Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. As always, 100 likes would be really appreciated on this video and I'll upload the next part as soon as humanly possible. In the last episode, I'm going to presume that we continue taking on and capturing every single Generation 5 legendary Pokemon that's in these games. In this episode, we're going to continue that and I think pretty much end off the legendary capturing by capturing Virizion, Terrakion and... What's the other one? Cavalion. I, I almost forgot right there. There's only one requirement that you uh, need to be able to even encounter these. And that's to have a Pokemon on your party with max EVs. Maximum effort values. Which, if you've completed the game, honestly, you should have a Pokemon with max EVs. So, don't worry about it. Right here is the Pathless Plane. This is where you can encounter... Uh, the three Pokemon. Unfortunately, you can only encounter one every 12 hours, which, yeah, a little bit frustrating. It's like Uxie, Mesprit, and At Self in that regard, which is just irritating. I don't like these imposed time restrictions. It's just a little bit frustrating. I'm not too sure if this will actually be the last legendary Pokemon video, uh, due to the fact that I'm uploading these and recording these in a very strange order. Um, to my schedule, this might, this should be my last video uh, surrounding the legendary Pokemon, but I'm not sure right now, so don't be alarmed if there's more after. Anyway, right here is the mysterious ring. Very, very easy to find. It's just on this island. Don't worry about it. So anyway, we're going to hope that we can actually... Capture this Terrakion uh, very quickly. I have a feeling Terrakion's going to be pretty difficult to capture. Maybe I should have used the capture O power. I probably should have. I've brought three quick balls, so let's just hope that we can actually capture it. That would be really nice if the quick ball actually works. I'm going to presume it won't, but yeah. Okay, that's a waste of a turn. It's going to sword stance. It's going to set up. That's scary. Alright, because I know Terrakion is a fantastic uh, special, uh, special physical attacker. What am I on about? Retaliate, retaliate. That ain't good. That's not good at all. It's quicker than us by the looks of it. So we're going to waterfall and it's not going to KO. That's uh, That was actually pretty perfect. I was going to Mega Evolve, so I'm kind of glad I didn't. Alright, let's start chucking those Ultra Balls. This is going to be an episode of three legendary Pokemon in it. So, if after a couple of Ultra Balls I haven't caught it, then I will uh, skip until I have caught it. Uh, skip till when I have caught it. And then, we'll take on the rest of the legendary Pokemon that can be found on the Pathless Plane. Unfortunately, Terrakion is a really tricky Pokemon to capture. It's actually got a really good move pool. It might be capable of actually sweeping our entire team. It's already set up one, two sword stances. And a not very effective move is doing nearly half to us, so that's kind of crazy. But hopefully we can capture it. It'd be nice if we had a Pokemon that could send it to sleep. The Sacred Sword is going to take us out. That's unfortunate. I have Mewtwo with the Nest Balls. Uh, I have Mewtwo and I can chuck Nest Balls because it's, uh, it's level 100 and it's 50 levels below us. Um, yeah, I, I didn't want to cut until I actually use these because I might be able to just, you know, carry on discussing this Pokemon with you until I've actually caught it. Uh, but if these Nest Balls don't work, I will skip until I have captured it because, I don't know, it will save time. The Nest Ball doesn't even shake, it breaks free and there's, is that its second or third sword stance? It might be its third. I'm that's very threatening. Not enjoying the sight of this. Terrakion, I'd really appreciate you getting in my nest ball. I think Terrakion, at least for my team, is probably the toughest Pokemon to capture on my team. Uh, like, with who I've got on my team. So, that's kind of scary. That's very scary. The nest balls didn't work. I'll try one more Ultra Ball after this, and then, yeah. One, two... Ah, oh, I always jinx it. I always jinx it. Its attack won't go any higher. That's it's kind of scary. Kind of scary. But yeah, these three Musketeer legendary Pokemon hopefully shouldn't be too difficult. I've probably jinxed it with Terrakion. No, we, we captured it. I'm, I'm really happy we didn't just cut until we had captured it. There's Terrakion. Terrakion's caught. Now we have to wait 12 hours to be able to capture ah, the other two Pokemon. So, give a nickname to the Terrakion you caught. Um, I shall not. There's no need to actually nickname it. So, 
I will see you guys in like 12 hours or <laughs> thanks to editing magic in a split second. Right, we're back after waiting the allotted time. This time, I think we're going to be going against Cabalion, which is really nice. Cabalion, uh, it, it might be a little tricky to actually capture. Fortunately, uh, a random passerby actually sent us a capture O power of two, which is really nice. That's really generous. I was sending out O powers just so I could level them up. So. Yeah, that's nice that someone reciprocated and actually sent us one back. Let's just throw a quick ball. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully we can capture it. Probably not. I seem to have poor luck with quick balls on screen. But if it goes well, perfect. Three. Ah, oh, whenever, whenever I say how much, how, how many times it's shook, I jinx it. My own fault. I get that. So anyway, uh, of, of course I don't believe that, but whatever, okay, discharge, discharge. Uh, we've paralyzed it, fortunately that is really nice. Um, so just presuming we don't get a crit, we should be able to weaken it with wild charge. I hope so. Otherwise, that'd be a bit sucky if I KO'd it. Uh, okay, so there we go, iron head, that is not going to do much damage at all. We resist that, very nice. And let's just start chucking some Ultra Balls. We do have the Capture O power of 2 up right now, so hopefully um, we can capture it in a pretty decent amount of time. Fortunately, unfortunately, it didn't shake at all then, which is kind of sucky. Now, Cabalion does have a uh, sword stance, uh, just like Terrakion, so... Cabalion can also be a little tricky to capture. I, I do think, honestly, these Pokemon might be the toughest legendary Pokemon to capture due to the fact they are able to completely set up and then take advantage of their uh, setup stat, which is their physical attack, and just sweep through you, which is a little unfortunate, but... I'm not going to complain about it. I like having difficult legendary encounters, quite honestly. I've got Rayquaza out now, so we should be able to just deal with any attacks it sends out. Uh, so that's always useful. I uh, guess it's going to Iron Head. Uh, let's, uh, let's continue tricking those Ultra Balls. I'll throw a couple more and then I'll skip until when I've captured it. And then we will take on Verizion. God knows when it'll show up, but... Yeah, I'll take it on whenever the time comes to it. Shook two times there, that kind of sucks. It'd be really nice if you were being compliant here, Cabalion. I'd appreciate that. One. Okay, you're not going to listen to me. Fine, we'll throw one more and then... Oh, sword stance. And then I will skip to when we've captured it. I'll, I'll skip to showing when I've captured it. So, one more ultra ball. Let's get lucky. Please get lucky. Please capture it. Come on, Cabaleon. One. Two. Three. You listen to me. Thank you, Cabaleon. I appreciate it. That's awesome. Okay, it's, it's always when I say please. I think Pokemon... I think they understand the word please. There we go. Fantastic. Cabaleon was caught. Now, uh, I'm going to be just waiting a little bit for Verizion. Hopefully it shows up at some point. So uh, I'll see you guys in just a second. Now, after 36 hours of waiting, unfortunately Verizion still has not appeared in my game. And it's really important that I get this video uploaded today, the day that I'm actually uploading it, because over the next couple of days I'm going to be super busy. So that's really unfortunate that Verizion has not appeared right yet. Now, I know it's really unprofessional not to have Verizion in this game, but I hope you understand, and as soon as I can capture it, I will record it, and by using the YouTube video editor, I should be able to uh, put Verizion into this video and remove this little bit from the video and everything will work out just swimmingly I guess but right now I really hope you guys can understand and accept my sincerest apologies for this I know it's really unprofessional but yeah there's not much I can do right now uh, you guys don't want a sub story, so I really appreciate you watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed this video, despite it not featuring Verizion. A, a bunch of other people have done this, unfortunately, where they've only covered one of the legendary Pokemon, which kind of sucks. 
But yeah, this is how you actually obtain Kabali on Terrakion. And if it decided to appear Verizion. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. The next one will be a lot more professional. It will be taken on the Elite Four rematches. Peace out.